So one of my teachings would be, I mean, I say my teachings, but it's really just formulation of the real experience that's accessible by anyone and has been translated throughout the ages in different ways. I'm just translating it so that you guys can understand better. But it refers to how to access direct experience of self, the true self, directly here and now in your own experience. The self that's not an object, the self that's not a concept, the self that's not a thought form, the self that's not an emotional storyline, the self that's not a belief system, the self that's not the body or the emotional body or the astral body or whatever. The true self which is subject to all of these and beyond the subject. But the subject is like the entrance point to that greater God self, if you will. The universal self, the self beyond the individuation. So, one of the ways in which I've been sharing this is to make it more accessible is to completely relax the mind, absolutely completely relax the mind for two to five seconds. Try it. Just completely give away all your thoughts, all your thinking, all your struggles, all your ideas, notions, and basically for two to five seconds, don't want anything, actively don't want anything from anything. Ah, you'll feel this relaxation, especially if you've just been in a more sort of a human or distracted or mental mode for the past few days or weeks or years or lifetimes, right? Or multiverses. So, so you'll find that relaxation is the nervous system, it's the tension of the mind, of the individual self, relaxing and kind of blending back, the wave blending back into the ocean, the distortion blending back into the wholeness. So you want to repeat this many times throughout your days, your waking days, and you'll become so familiar with this state, it deepens and deepens and it increases the, the brightness of it and the depth of it, the peace, the vastness of it. And you begin to directly realize the self, which is not an object, but which is that infinite consciousness of the subject and beyond the subject. Because even the subject is still an appearance. But my point with this video, I mean, many of you have already heard me share this in many different ways over the years. The reason I'm making this video is because I want to drive one point home especially. And I'll do this using an example or um, something that comes up for people a lot, which is there's a difference. When two people hear this teaching, what I just shared, I've stopped the mind as much as you can, relax, give away all thoughts and notions and wants for two to five seconds and recognize that spacious, vast, space-like awareness, that space-like pure I am-ness that remains, that is recognized there. And so, one person will interpret this, will experience this, will practice it, and will kind of end up with sort of a, a sense of, no, yeah, okay, yeah, I guess it's a, I guess it's more neutral than my emotional storyline, but what's the big deal? Well, I want you to understand that the more will that you put into these two to five seconds, the more you will recognize the brightness, the more you will recognize the, va the vastness, the more you will experience and taste the peace which is beyond description. It's subtler than thoughts, it's subtler than assumptions. To recognize it, one must be very intentfully resting as awareness. It's not just a lazy Friday afternoon, watch a soccer game, order in Domino's pizza and have your butt light, wiser, whatever they're called here in America, beer. It's not complacency. It's intentful, it's a balanced, combined effort of effort and relaxation. It's the intentful relaxation. It's intentional resting, willful resting, if you will. And I often equate this to, to use an analogy, let's say that there is a, there's a bug, you're trying to save the bug from the pool, right? Or the, the puddle of water. And there's a certain tactfulness, there's a certain relaxation and yet a certain intentionality or tactfulness or attentiveness required to succeed because you're trying to grab this uh, bug, but as you push the water up because of the water tension and stuff, 
as you're pushing the water up underneath the body of the floating insect, the insect will start to be pushed away from your hand. So in order to grab it, like you can't be intentful or forceful because that won't work, right? And you can't also be too relaxed because that also won't work. You gotta sort of balance that will, that intent, carefulness, make minor adjustments, be attentive, and at the same time be com come up completely relaxed. So meditation, proper meditation is like that. The proper meditative state is much like that. It's knowing your power, knowing your free will, knowing your capacity to direct the stream of the mind and the stream of consciousness, of attention. And you want to direct it. You want to make it single-minded, yet you want to release the mind. So it's that balance point. Again, if a guitar string is too loose, it won't play. If it's too tight, it will snap. You gotta find that balance where music is produced, where there is a result. So this is why one person resting his awareness will not experience much productive uh, penetration in terms of really sensing the depth of the bliss and the peace and the joy and the love and the melting influence of God that is available to each individual that's inseparable from God. Because we all are inseparable from the allness that is God. And we can all experience that. That's beyond our birthright. It's our pre-birthright. Before we were born, we had that right. We are that. We'll be that eternally so. But you can practice this as a human being, okay, and get remarkable results and infuse your life with such a clarity and a vastness that will only deepen your power and your freedom and your desire to merge more with God, to become a pure vessel of its love, of its light, of its radiance, and you'll be happier and freer and more and more stable and less and less swayed by your emotions and by other people and by events. Now courage arises. Now empowerment naturally arises as well, actualization. But when you're relaxing the mind, when you give the mind away, you wanna be really intentful on the clarity that remains. You wanna be intently, attentively aware of the vividness, the subtlety, the clarity, that underlying background sense of pure existence. And you wanna kinda of dig into that. You wanna penetrate it, you wanna make your consciousness or your mind rather more subtle and more subtle so that it can recognize and realize more of that vastness. Now the more you dive into this, the more eager, the more interested you are, then every time you relax, this overwhelming sense, or at least over time, it becomes overwhelming. At first, it's just a subtle sense of ease, of unwinding the mind back into the space. The more you do this, the more you become the space. The more you realize that you're not really a human being, that you're not really the mind and the thoughts and the feelings and the emotions, that you're much vaster and indest more indestructible and more free than this. So you want, I want that realization for you because it's not about dry emptiness, okay? The true emptiness, the true void, the true freedom is absolutely comprehensive of all things. It is absolutely the potential, the all-embracing love and the light of the one infinite creator. And you are that, so you can penetrate that. But you gotta be intentful about your two to five seconds. It can't be a lazy thing that you do. You gotta relax the mind, but do it with such intention that you're determined, not with the mind, but determined to in the absence of mind for two to five seconds, to awaken, to allow for the grace of the Creator to be known, to be recognized. But without that intent, my friends, you shall only touch upon a very surface level of awareness, which will feel like just a neutrality or a blankness maybe which is not the real awareness. It's still the mind being there. So we need both relaxation, but we need to do that relaxation with such utter intent and will and passion and joy and surrender. The more the surrender and the will you bring into relaxation and resting the mind back into this greater awareness, which is always already hearing my voice right now, is always already available to you, is that which always already knows what you're doing and what you're thinking and what you're feeling. Like this background observer that's always there. The deeper you dive into this with the greater the clarity and the subtlety and the attentiveness and the intent, the more sublime, the more transformative entering this space becomes, the more of a love affair it becomes.
the less shallow, less mental, more all-consuming. That's what you want. I guarantee you that.